I think the person that inspired me to do this sort of thing, really, was my mum. When I was really small, she gave me books to help me make things and, and do things and use, use the kind of things around me to make objects. And I think I got a taste early on for that kind of uh, making something from its constituent parts. And then you end up with something, an object that didn't exist before, which was quite a magical process, I think, and still is, actually. And then I suppose there was, there was my dad. There was a family stationery business that he ran and that went back three generations. I think books became important, even though they were sources of difficulty for me as a child. Being mildly dyslexic at school, it, they weren't a pleasure that they were for other people. And I think I, uh, I had to find something more in books. So they became objects to be explored for their own sake, really, and not stories to be read. The biggest inspiration for me is people who approach their discipline from a very different angle, who, who think differently about things. People like architect Thomas Heatherwick and, and Cornelia Parker and, um, and Heston Blumenthal, who actually push the boundaries of, of what they do and, and it just gets you really, really thinking about what defines your discipline and, and how can you make it different.